Hello, my gorgeous gastronomes and vampires. Welcome to T-Rex Steel City Mukbang. Where will this food journey take you today? Pull up a seat. Let's eat. Hey guys, how you doing? We're moving right along. We're into day three of the five day wing sauce challenge. That's right. First, I want to thank all my subscribers, old and new. Thank you guys. I love you so much. And to those of you who have not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. Okay, guys. I did something a little different today. I cut the wings. I cut them down like, you know, like you see them in most restaurants. In the wing dings, I cut them. And today's sauce of the day. Today's sauce of the day. Let me get it close to you. My mouth's watering. Today's sauce of the day is strawberry hot. Strawberry hot. Guys, I'm going to talk about it. <coughs> <coughs> Woo. <clears throat> okay, so yesterday. <clears throat> I complained <clears throat> that the jalapeno popper sauce was not hot enough. So, I thought I'd solve that problem today because, you know, I need my heat. <clears throat> <clears throat> you don't have to make yours this hot. You don't have to. <clears throat> really. <laughs> You'll be able to use whatever hot sauce you want. If you have a milder hot sauce you want to use, use that. <clears throat> <clears throat> I use Texas Pete. But I use a lot of Texas Pete. <laughs> mm hmm. Wow. <clears throat> that sweet hot is amazing. <clears throat> it's amazing. Strawberry hot. Mm hmm. Like I said. <clears throat> Feel free to make your strawberry mild if you want. <laughs> Seriously. <clears throat> I inhaled it the wrong way. That was more of a choke from <clears throat> the fumes. That wasn't like a choke to death choke. It was a choke from the fumes. You know how when you get, when you when you <clears throat> suck in some hot, heat, spicy fumes, it chokes you. That's what that was. Because these are very hot. With heat hot. And spicy hot. So, <clears throat> I inhaled a bunch of hot steam. It was worth every minute. Mm hmm. Worth every minute. Mm hmm. Mm 
see, <clears throat> I recovered without even taking a drink <clears throat> till now, you know. <clears throat> Woo. Mm. Now, I have to confess, the Strawberry Hot, the name, came from a restaurant that I used to love to go to in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. It was called Buzzies, I believe, Buzzy. <clears throat> and um, they made a wing sauce called Strawberry Hot. <clears throat> now, I don't know what was in theirs. I don't know what their recipe was, so I did my own thing with this. And I gave it the same name. Mm. <clears throat> Ooh. This wing right here, it was so small. <laughs> it was so small, I felt bad cutting it. <laughs> so I left it whole. You see that? Little bird wing. But I prefer these over the giant turkey wings. Actually, they're chicken, but they're big enough to be turkey wings. All right, those. I just replenished my wings today. I went down and bought another 10-pound bag. And I don't know how long this is going to be, but praising God, the price on the wings came down a little bit more. You know, at the highest, they had skyrocketed to $50 for 10 pounds. But last month when I went in, they had dropped down to $46. So today when I went in, I was prepared, you know, thinking they're either still $46 or they may have gone back up. Blessing happens. Ten pound bag of wings, thirty nine dollars. Strip district meats, Pittsburgh. They do ship. And the lady was telling me that <clears throat> all the other chicken parts have gone up. The wings were the only ones that came down. I don't care about the other chicken parts. <laughs> I'm thanking God for this blessing for these wings. But yeah, it was time to re-up. And I did that. I re-up every month. When I told you I'm addicted to wings, I meant that. I 
That's why I hope you guys never get tired of seeing wings because that's probably going to be the majority of my videos. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll get creative and switch up and show you guys some other stuff. But, you know, you're going to see quite a few wing videos. I can tell you that. You're at least going to get once, one a week. Or at least that. Mmm. That's why I love this challenge so much. Mm. Now, like I said, this is day three of the wing challenge, wing sauce challenge. If you want to know what the wing sauce challenge is all about, Please check out the two previous videos, day one and day two of the Wing Sauce Challenge. It is explained in detail on the first two videos. It's so good. I forgot we're talking out loud, but you know what? It's so good. I don't even know what to say. So far, all three sauces, day one, two, and three. have been awesome makes me wish I had a wing restaurant <laughs> that's a lot of work <laughs> I'm just talking out the side of my neck right now. That's a lot of work. Especially in this day and age.
the restaurant business is too unpredictable. I don't know about anywhere else, but in Pittsburgh, a lot of restaurants had to close down after COVID. A lot. Just very unstable business right now to be in. We have a new restaurant open here. Can't recall the name of it, but the business was booming for it. People were just flocking to this place. So that wasn't the issue. The issue was the restaurant couldn't find any workers. They didn't have enough employees to keep the store open, the restaurant open. So I think they were open for like two weeks and then they closed <laughs> because no staff. And I think they were going to be closed just for two weeks. So, you know, I hope they, I hope they got some people working, but, um, it's either one or the other. You either don't have the business or you don't have the employees. <laughs> so, restaurant business for me would be a no. And if the competition wasn't so high on sauce, I would just try to bottle sauces and just sell it that way. But the competition. Competition is ridiculous. You know? Everybody's making sauce. Everybody and their mother's making sauce. And that's cool. But it makes it hard to make a living. You know, I can see that whatever money you make, you probably would have to just put right back into making and bottling the sauce. Distribution. You really wouldn't profit anything, you know? I don't think. Just because of all the options. So, I wouldn't get into that either. For now, I'll just keep enjoying my own sauce. Any friends or family that come by, I'll make it for them. That's what we do. This is what's up for real. Like I said, <clears throat> you don't have to make it this spicy. There's many ways you can tone it down.
Mm. You probably could just use it or make it with without any hot sauce, really. You could even try that if you want to. It wouldn't be called strawberry hot, though. <laughs> just saying. Mmm. Mmm. Guys, I'm getting full. Whew. There's three little pieces, you know, but I'm full. I'm going to head on out. Tapping out, guys. Peace out, my gastronomes and vampires. I will see you soon.